We all have different goals when it comes to our personal websites, but without any analytical tracking, it's impossible to know how successful your site is at reaching those goals. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I use Hotjar, who are kindly sponsoring this video, to keep an eye on my site and see how it's performing, and how Hotjar helped me pinpoint issues and evaluate the success of my redesign. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first I wanna show you what my site looked like before my redesign. So here first, um, this is what the nav bar looked like. I had case studies, resources, articles, YouTube, and then contact. And then as you go down, you sort of have the intro, companies I've worked with, case studies. And then down here, I have my Skillshare class. And then here I have where you can subscribe to my newsletter and get in touch and that kind of thing. I'm gonna be focusing mostly on this home page, um, but just to show you kind of what the rest of these pages look like. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how it looked like before. So the goals for my redesign are really to focus more on my side business. So as you can see from this before design, what it mostly focused on is my case studies. And that's great, but at the moment, I'm not looking for a new job. So what I wanna prioritize more is the things that are going to kind of bring in revenue for my side business. And those things are my newsletter, my YouTube channel, and my Skillshare class. So those are the things that I really want to boost um, conversion-wise when it comes to my site. So let's see before we move forward how my old site did in those three areas. So if we hop into Hotjar and go into the heat map section, what I have are two different heat maps that I've run. So the first one I ran before I updated my site and basically I set this up to record 1000 page views and then once 1000 was hit, then it stopped. Um, and this way I could have sort of a controlled test. So let's take a look at this heat map from the before update. Okay, so you're seeing here, I really like Hotjar because it's very visual. You can actually see, um, you know, sort of the hottest parts of your site. So as I suspected, I was getting a lot of clicks on case studies and less on resources, articles, YouTube, and things like that. Um, looks like a lot of people were either hovering or trying to click on this area, which I'm not sure why. Um, interesting finding here it looks like some people were trying to click on these logos but they're actually not um, linked so that's kind of interesting to think about um, and then as you go here one thing to note since i have animations set up in my webflow site um, this sort of screenshot doesn't load everything that is here so if we went back and looked at how my site looked you would see which case studies are here so i happen to know that this one is my skillshare class so we'll start here then this got 17 clicks my skillshare class so okay that's good to know i'm going to note that down so youtube got 21 clicks and then we'll also add in these clicks down here, seven more in the footer. Now, what about the um, email newsletter? It looks like 15 on desktop, okay. And what you can also do is go into your um, different breakpoints. So we can see that on desktop, I had 843 views and on um, iPhones, it was 152. So that's just kind of interesting to know as well. All right, I'm just gonna go through and count these up and then I will tell you guys the results. Okay, so what I found is that I got 23 newsletter clicks, 29 YouTube clicks, and 23 Skillshare clicks. So that is a good starting point. And now what I'm going to do is show you how I redesigned this site to try and kind of boost those things. Okay, so this is what I designed in XD for my site redesign. So you can see I changed it to feel more in line with my brand, um, but I also changed a few things that were specifically um, to meet these goals. So I reordered some things in the nav. I put my Skillshare class 
right after my intro and I also put an actual newsletter block um, from ConvertKit here. Then I decided to pull out one of my best YouTube videos and preview it here so that someone could hop into YouTube and start watching a video right away. So now let's see if it made a difference. I will show you guys the site that is live right now. We will hop into hot jar again and go back to our heat maps and now i'm going to go into my after update so let's see what this is looking like so it looks like i still get the most clicks on case studies which is cool no big deal but i definitely got more clicks on resources which is interesting and that's kind of nice because many of my resources in order to download them you have to sign up for my newsletter so that's sort of like um you know that's definitely going to add to my newsletter um stats and let's see how many people 12 clicks here for newsletter um 22 for um, this Skillshare class, 11 here, not too bad, and 21 for this video, five more here in the footer, and then we can check out on mobile, and again, some of this won't show up just because there's like animations with Webflow, um, but let's see, six more taps on the Skillshare class, um, I think this is three more on the YouTube video. So cool. So now I'm gonna go through again and add all of these up and see where we ended up. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with these results. Here's what we've got. For newsletter, the number of clicks went from 23 to 27, which is not crazy, but I think that it's still an improvement. And one thing I want to show you is um, that you can actually see not just where people click, but also how far they scroll. So for example, in this new design, we can see that about 75 or 72, 70 to 72% of people actually reach this newsletter section. Whereas on the other heat map, only about 40% of people actually scroll all the way down to this newsletter opt-in section. So even though I haven't gotten tons and tons more um, subscribers from this redesign, I still think that it's important to have moved it up because clearly more people are at least seeing it and getting the opportunity to click on it. Um, so I think that definitely helps. Okay, so now for the YouTube results. Before I had gotten 29 clicks for YouTube and after I actually got 57 so that is huge I think that is an awesome result and I would attribute that to actually having a YouTube video thumbnail here and an opportunity for someone to go watch so 21 people um, clicked that 33 people clicked it up in the nav and some more people clicked it on mobile as well so that was a great result okay now let's check out skillshare before we had 23 clicks and after the redesign we had 29 so again not a huge difference but definitely an improvement and the other thing that i'm curious in checking out is on this new one we had 126 clicks on resources and my skillshare class is also inside the resources page so i'm gonna switch over to continuous so that i can actually hop into this resources and see in the last 30 days how many people have actually clicked on my skillshare class through the resources page Okay, five in the last 30 days. So I'm not exactly sure. Oh, that's 143 sessions. So before we were looking at a thousand sessions from the homepage, but it would make sense that my resources page gets um, less sessions. Um, so yeah, in the last 30 days, 143 people have visited this page and five have clicked on this link. So not too bad. Again, we could do a whole other experiment with just this page which might be interesting, um, but there's so much you can do with this. I love this scroll feature. You can even see where people have moved their mouse around the most. So here the nav is super populated, which is kind of cool to see. 
um, as well as whatever is down here, um, which let's see, what's my last resource? This um, nine to thrive, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so I just really like using this. There are so many different things you can do. Another thing that I really like is that it shows you, it basically records everyone who um, comes to your site. And of course it's completely anonymous, but it records their activity so that you can kind of monitor how people are actually interacting with your site. So let's just click on one of these for fun. So let's do one. I like how it tells you relevance. So this one, is high looks like they landed on the home page so let's check this one out you can actually get rid of all of the pauses in their activity so you can watch them much faster just by going into settings and clicking on skip all in activity so then let's play this through cool so they're just kind of scrolling up and down looks like they haven't clicked on anything yet Back to home. Okay, interesting. And then, ah, uh, they're going to the blog. Cool, they're reading a post. They skipped right past the newsletter opt in, so good to know. These case studies link out to Behance, so um, I don't believe that Hotjar will show you that like external site um, if they do click on that. Yeah, it looks like they are clicking on a lot of the case studies. It's interesting, they're spending a lot of time on the site, which is kind of cool. <laughs> this is so interesting to watch. Going back to the blog. Okay, cool. So this is cool, you can sort by duration, pages viewed, um, the date, exiting, landing pages, that's kind of sweet. So yeah, there's so much data that you can dig into here. Um, another thing that I kind of like to check on is which case studies um, get the most views. So let's go into my heat maps and I'm gonna go into my continuous and go into case studies. Usually the one that you put first gets the most clicks and that's definitely the case here. So this first one got 163, this one got 65, and this one got 74. So that's kind of interesting. It looked like people were more interested in Freshlist than they were in Essence, even though Freshlist appears below it. Um, cool, so this is just really interesting to see. You could definitely do this with your portfolio and see which ones, um, which portfolio pieces are most engaging. And then maybe that will give you some data as to which one to put first, which one to start with in an interview and that type of thing. And the last way that I could see definitely using this, I used to be a freelance web designer and I could absolutely see using this for my clients. Like, you know, having someone come to me and talking to them about their goals and what they want to accomplish with their site um, and actually having some data to go along with that to have a starting point and then I would make some suggestions do a redesign and then actually test if what I designed helped achieve their goals in terms of data that stuff is huge and if you have that sort of data and that proof um, that you have a return on investment for your clients, then you can start to charge more. I just think that data is a huge, huge tool for designers that not many people take advantage of. So especially since this is free, I would highly recommend checking it out. If you're interested in trying Hotjar out for yourself, go ahead and use the link in my description box below. Their free plan has tons of great features. You can pretty much do everything that I showed in this video on that free basic plan, but of course you could also upgrade to their their business plan and check out some of their premium features or even suggest it to your company or use it for your clients if you're a freelance web designer. I really hope you'll check it out and I want to again thank Hotjar for sponsoring this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!